In this video, we are going to discuss a problem related to pins of microprocessor. So, here we need to determine the number of valid outputs with the combination of I, O and M and read and write for a decoder. So, here determine the number of valid outputs of a decoder with the inputs I, O, M and R bar, W bar. You know uh, about uh, I, O and memory and read and write. So, here so this is I, O and M uh, is a active low for memory that means so if 0 is came here then memory operation will be there if 1 is there here then I, O operation can take place. For R and write read and write so these also called as uh, active low signals when R is equal to 0 then um, read operation will take place and write equal to 0 then write operation will take place and I already told you in the last class at a time R and W won't be 0. So now we will discuss determine the number of valid outputs with this combination for a decoder. So first of all uh, which decoder we need to consider we are having so many decoders uh, 2 to 4 decoder 3 to 8 decoder 4 to uh, 16 decoder like that we are having so many decoders here. So what type of decoder we need to consider means here as we are having 3 inputs we need to take 3 to 8 decoder. So I am just considering 3 to 8 decoder. So see here I am considering 3 to 8 decoder. So which is having uh, 3 inputs. 3 inputs that 3 inputs are I, O and M and uh, R bar, W bar read and write and here I am taking enable line and uh, voltage. Voltage you can take plus 5 volts or anything and this is a enable line. So this enable line uh, is always equal into 1. So if you want to work with decoder you must take your enable line is equal into 1. Then it's having it's having 3 inputs this 8 represents output of your decoder 3 to 8 decoder here you can see I am taking um, 3 output uh, 8 outputs. Now so how many of these outputs are valid now we need to uh, consider that we need to define that how many of that outputs are valid. So here I am taking my inputs combination to define that to determine that I am taking this inputs combination with this the three inputs combination the output I need to determine. So valid output I need to determine here. So with three input variables uh, I am going to get total eight combinations 0 0 0 0 0 1, 1 uh, 0 1 0 0 1 1 and 1 double 0 1 0 1 and 1 1 0 1 1 1 these are the all 8 combinations with this 3 input variables. So after taking these combinations I need to check for my output as I already told you R and W read and write at a time uh, can't be a same value. So here you are having same value. So here also you are having same value. Here also you are having same value. These three are uh, invalid uh, outputs. So here also you are having same value. So wherever you are having R and W as same, you can take that as invalid. Remaining you need to define the output. So this is invalid. So here this is also invalid. So this is also invalid. So this is invalid. So 110, 111, 101, 100. So here these are the combinations you are having. Now you can see so this is 0, 01. 0, 01 means when you are having 0 at R. So read is activated as read and write or active low signals those will be activated when they got 0. So here you are having 1 means definitely you are going to deactivate the write and you are going to activate read. So this is a read operation which read means so here 0 is there 0 will activate CM 1 will activate IO. So here you are having 0 means it is going to activate uh, M that means this is memory read. So I am taking like M E R. 
M E M R or your wish. So, I am taking like active low signal uh, format. So, then I can take bubbles here. So, M E M R memory read operation is here. And here also I think this is also invalid because read and write are equal here in this case. So, uh, see this case 10. 10 means here you are having 0 means this is write operation, write operation which write means. So, again it is going to activate memory. So, memory write operation, this is memory write operation, valid operation and that operation particular operation is memory write. And coming to here again this is a read operation because you can observe active low signal in uh, R but active high signal in write this is not going to activate the write operation only this active low signal is going to activate this write. So, this is a write operation and here you are having one means as IO in this is active high this one is going to activate IO. So, this is IO IO. Uh, read operation and here this is I O write operation as usual this is I O write operation. So, in this combination in this three input combination for a decoder. So, how many outputs are there means we are having all eight, uh, eight outputs but in that eight outputs. So, invalid or first is invalid and this is uh, memory read and this is memory write. So, after that you are having two invalids and after that I O read and I O write will be there and finally you are having another invalid. So, totally you are having uh, our question is determine the number of valid outputs you will get options 3 valid outputs, 4 valid outputs, 5 valid outputs in this 8 outputs of 3 to 8 decoder you take in in that you are having 4 valid combinations, 4 valid output signals and remaining 4 as invalid. They may ask for invalid outputs or they may ask for valid outputs. In this question they asked for valid outputs, we are having 4 valid, that 4 valid also memory read, memory write, I O read and I O write. Like this way we are going to determine the output signals of 8085.